This one is C5H11O2N. That would suggest that it has one double bond equivalent. We have a 1H broad over here. That's going to be an OH. And we have also, um, let's see, CH2 or CH2 and 3H3 and CH3. So two CH2s and two CH3s. The reason I would say that this would be a CH2 and not an NH2 is because it's uh, just a 2H without the broad designation associated with it. So I'd say that this is probably going to be a, a CH2 that's not adjacent to anything that's got hydrogens on it. And that, that would leave us with a C, an O, a double bond, and an N. And we don't have any C double bond Ns here to pick from, so I'm going to go with the C double bond O and that would leave us with a nitrogen as well. The other reason that I'm going to say that this is an OH for example and not an NH is because of its placement. If you look at the correlation chart you'll generally see that peaks in this region 11 to 12 are OH is connected to C double bond O's so I can be pretty sure that's an OH and not an NH so these pieces I can be pretty confident with. Now putting it together, as I said earlier, the uh, OH is going to be connected to the C double bond O, so I'm going to go ahead and do that over here. Now I've got to figure out what else is connected to what. I can see that I've got a CH3 here that is connected to a CH2 because it's got three peaks, so it must have two adjacent hydrogens. I'm going to go ahead and connect this CH3 to this CH2 here. I can also see that one of the CH2s has four peaks which means it's connected to a CH3. The other thing I know is that this CH2 can only be connected to the CH3 because it only has four peaks. Had the CH3 also been connected to this CH2, this CH2 would have six peaks because it would have five adjacent hydrogens. Now it's only got four peaks so it must, must mean it's only connected to the CH3. So I know that the CH2 here is apart from the CH2 that we have over here. We've also got a nitrogen to take care of and I'm going to go ahead and stick the nitrogen in here and stick this CH3 on the end. And I'm thinking that this will probably be the correct structure. There's no other way that we can really put this together and explain these multiplicities that you see here. If you look at the CH2, again you see that it's a single peak which means it must be adjacent to things that don't have hydrogens on them.